Ogun State Social Democratic Party, SDP, has vowed to adopt community policing in tackling incessant insecurity in the state if elected to power come 2023. This is according to the governorship candidate of the party, Tony Ojashina. He stated that uh, stated this while unveiling his running mates in Abelkuta, the state capital. The party chairman gave an assurance that the party will win the coming elections. To be able to get a devaluation where state policing becomes an issue. We will push that through our members in the National Assembly, but at the same time, we will also enhance our local security that we have and empower them. The state indigenous are very intelligent and they will buy into it because we will point out to some things that we want to do better. Everybody is tried. Every governor has come and they have tried, done their best. But what we want to do is create that model state. And we will keep explaining to them where the model state is. And once they know where the model state, they will buy it into our gym. It was a welcome arrangement without uh, out, um, out of, uh, without wasting time. I plug into the you know, vision. And based on our discussion, I believe that uh, Based on the key, four key point agenda, yes, we, we, we will actually put this state in front, front of the other state among the, I mean, in, I mean, among the country. Besides, there are also local uh, what's called security outfit. We have to empower to ensure that uh, um, you know, we have a safe environment. This is Nigeria today. What do we need to do? What should we do? Are we not tired? We are confident that the party will win because we are a credible alternative. It's as simple as that. Which other party do you have that have the credibility of SDP in Nigeria as we speak? If it's not SDP, even in Ogo State, people are tired. Government that cannot give us palliative. It's as simple as that. Are they going to take us from this doldrum, from this economic... Uh, Whatever, you know, I, I, I made a vow not to run anybody down and not to go into a campaign of calumny. If you look at the exchange rate, the economy, the state of insecurity, it's obvious that we need a change.